name is Brett Patrick Goodbow. I am a an orthopedic surgeon here at uh, Coordinated Health. I have been in practice for 22 years. I was, I believe, the third physician in this practice. And I practice currently at the Bethlehem facility, the Easton campus, and the East Stroudsburg campus. I think that uh, the decision for me to go into medicine was very simple. I like actually speaking to people. I really do enjoy my interactions with my patients. So my, my choice to go into medicine was easy. It was uh, that I just enjoy being with people and if I can help them at the same time, it was a wonderful way to uh, have an occupation. Choosing orthopedics was a very different decision. I never entered medicine thinking that I was going to be a surgeon, much less an orthopedic surgeon. I entered medicine with my eyes wide open. I saw myself in any of a uh, number of specialties, but my first rotation in, as a third year med student was happened to be in orthopedics. And to be honest with you, I couldn't believe that these my, the residents and attendings were having so much fun and honestly I just didn't realize you could have so much fun and practice medicine at the same time. So I attended Upstate Medical Center uh, in Syracuse, New York and graduated in 1982. I then moved to Rhode Island. I completed my two years of pre-orthopedic training at Brown University in 1984. I then stayed in Providence and I started my orthopedic residency at Brown in 1984, completing it in 1988. In 1989, uh, I began my fellowship training and moved my entire family down to Birmingham, Alabama. My fellowship was under the uh, guidance of Dr. Jim Andrews, sort of a famous sports medicine doctor in the, in the, uh, in the world. I came up to the Lehigh Valley after that and I've been in the Lehigh Valley since my fellowship. I was very uh, interested in joining a practice that was uh, moving fast and this practice even in 1990 was flying. For me um, it was a perfect opportunity to get busy fast and it was, it was really those motivating factors that made the decision relatively easy for me. Let's talk about the shoulder briefly. For most of my patients over 40, the major problem is their lack of uh, flexibility. An impingement process can be from a number of factors. A lot of it is just uh, wear and tear over time, repetition, a lot of overhead use, and it is a condition that is probably one of the most common complaints that my patients will come in with. And treatment is definitely guided towards what level of the impingement you, uh, you are at at the time of your clinical presentation. I am one of those doctors, uh, you know, who is old enough to have seen it, all of the open procedures. I saw the open procedures get better and then I saw the arthroscopic procedures. And if there's anything that I made myself do was to grow with the time. What I'm doing today is 2012, not what my residency taught me in 1988 That's or my fellowship in 1990. So one of the nice things that I can now offer my patient at least over the past five or six years is a truly fully arthroscopic approach to that. And that means a non-invasive with two or uh, three or four little puncture holes to the shoulder. We can actually go in, clarify, confirm the diagnosis, uh, and then treat that arthro treat that condition arthroscopically. Trying to get more dimensional as I go, as I get older, and uh, I uh, I'm, I do like sports. I'm a runner. Uh, I run I've run five marathons. I'm not a great golfer, but I do enjoy getting out a couple times a week and playing some golf. Um, I'm a skier. I've skied since I was five. I do enjoy photography. I'm getting back into that a little bit, but uh, I'm very much an outdoors person. I have a lovely wife. My wife practices, actually. My wife's been a nurse practitioner for many years, but she's very active professionally too, which makes it kind of fun to um, share a, different, a little different conversation in orthopedics at home. I'm an empty nester as of this year. I have three children there, and they're all doing very, very well, and I'm very proud of that. I think giving back is important, and that's the other thing about as we get older, you think more about that. So I'm still the team physician at Moravian College. I have a great athletic training staff there. I also have a great relationship with the other high schools. I've worked with Nazareth in the past. I've been the team physician at Liberty probably for like six years. I truly believe in the trainer outreach program and communicating with the trainers at the high school level and college level was very important to me. One of the most important things is that we do allow physicians to be who, whomever they want to be. So in other words, I'm speaking as an orthopedist, if you, decide, you can decide the world of, 
orthopedics that you want, whether you want to treat patients with back problems or foot problems or knee and shoulder only, you can design your practice. And I think a lot of practices today don't allow you to do that. The other very important part of this practice is that we treat you from the time we meet you to the time we discharge you. We don't have to send you out to have an MRI or a CAT scan or send you to a physical therapist that we don't know. So we don't uh, lose control of the quality of care that we deliver. Our hospital quality is second to none in the state. We are very proud of our staff and everyone that uh, contributes to this total picture. But I think for the most part, we can offer our patients a very whole approach to the treatment of their condition. I've been very, very blessed in many respects. Honestly, 22 years, you, I couldn't write this better. I'm very happy. I love my profession. I'm not ready to retire. And I think my relationship with my patients, I think, is what really keeps me going. I have a, not to diminish the fact that I have a great staff. I mean, our, our support staff has been really important and every one of them is makes my life easier. And I think that that is another reason that I can continue to practice the way I do.